That's he was in the world. That's what he was in him. That's right. But it was the him that made it. That's right. That's it. Why? Because the him was a greater nature right. than he. That's right. Let me show you in the Old Testament, Isaiah 53. Amen. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The letter. I want to Go work ahead. on the letter, the language. The language. Right. Isaiah chapter 53, beginning verse 1. What happened? Who hath believed our report? And, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? What is it? For he, he. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. That's right. He, he shall grow up. Shall grow up, up, up before him. be for him. him. He will grow up. Before, Before him, him, Before him, him overshadows Mary right. and created the holy thing. And the holy thing was the he that got there from him. That's right. And then when she burst, he, mm. that's right. Him was in he. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it, Pops. He that came out the womb could do nothing on his own because he needed him. That's right. That's it. Go ahead, brother. You understand? When he died, him, out. him out. come out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. That's right. That's it. Then he that had no life laid it with flesh and bones. That's, That's right. right. Amen. After 72 hours was over, him Amen. got back that, got back in it. That also was called he. And he took the flesh and bones back on. And the moment he took it back on, now it has a different function. He glorifies it. Glorify it. And take he and make it equal to him. him. Right. Now he function equal to him. Right. Now he can appear. Right. Now he right. can appear and disappear like him. That's right. By it being glorified, it eliminated being a relative. To the human race. That's right. Mary is not the mother of a body, body. that changed no. from natural to spiritual. That's right. Because not only was the inside affected, the outside right. was affected. That's right. And Mary did not birth spiritual. Right. Mary birthed natural. Paul Plenty said, That's not the body that shall that be. That shall be. That's right. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 50. Follow me, viewers. Hear me. Now this I say, brethren. This. Yes. Glory to God to the highest. I say, brothers. That flesh and blood cannot. Flesh and blood. Cannot. Cannot. Inherit the kingdom of God. All right. I want you to get this. Let me demonstrate this so perfectly. Yes. Come here, brother Bo. Just come on. Stand right here. You four brothers, Kev, Logan, my brother there, my brother there, just standing right here facing the camp. You brothers come go over that way. You can join them if you want. Y'all go over that way. Yeah, go on that way. Now, viewers, let me show you something. Jesus was on the cross dying. Bible said, give me Leviticus, the life of all flesh. Read yes. quick because I want to step by step itemize this. Yes. <clears throat> the life of all flesh is in your blood. In Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. I want to strike every event out with Bible to give you an understanding. Amen. God is spirit. Yes. The son of God was flesh and blood. God was in the flesh and blood and used the flesh and blood as an example to show you how to live right. That's right. The flesh and blood was in God. Right. God was in it. And then the flesh and blood was the servant, the Messiah, uh -huh. son of God, the pattern yeah. that God will use by using a flesh and blood human body. That's right. The Bible says in Leviticus. In Leviticus chapter 17 and verse 11. That's what? For the life of the flesh. The life of the flesh. Is in the blood. It's in the blood. That's right. Now they pierced them. I want you to stop. I want to step by step with Bible. St. John chapter 19 and verse 34. He hung on the cross from the 6th to the ninth hour. That's right. They went 
to break his legs. But when they came to Jesus, listen at this. St. John chapter 19 and verse 33. Follow me. But when they came to Jesus, they came to Jesus and saw that he was dead already. They saw he was dead already. They break not his legs. They didn't break his legs. But one of the soldiers with the spear did what? Pierced his side. Pierced his side. And forthwith came there out blood and water. So the natural life came out. Right. Yeah. But he was dead when? Already. He was already dead. Dead already. The natural life of the Son of God ended on the cross. That's right. The natural life. Yeah, yeah, here now. Uh-huh. If the Bible said the life of all flesh. Lieth in the blood. Lieth in the blood. The natural life stopped. That's right. On the cross. Right. Pissed him in the side. Out came blood Out and water. Out come blood and water. Blood and water. Now. Nicodemus and Joseph of Amathea pleads for the body. When the even was come, there came a rich man of when Amathea. When the even came, a rich man came. Named Joseph, who also himself was Jesus' disciple. Yes. He went to Pilate and begged the body of Jesus. And what? Then Pilate commanded the body to be delivered. Yes. And when Joseph had taken the body, uh -huh. he wrapped it in a clean linen cloth. Now he wraps the body up. And he laid it on his own new tomb. Now he laid it. On his own new tomb. In his own tomb. Which he had right hewn there. out in the rock. Which was hewed out in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door. Now, of, after he died, right. he's placed in the grave. Yeah. That's right. There's nothing left right. but flesh and bones, no blood. Right. That's right. He went down. That's right. Natural. He went down. 15th chapter, first Corinthians, quickly. First Corinthians chapter He 15. went down. He was planted. He was sown. He was buried natural. That's right. Listen, that what did it say? First Corinthians 15 and verse 40. Come on, sir. There are also celestial bodies. There are also celestial bodies. And bodies terrestrial. And bodies terrestrial. But the glory of the celestial is one. Now hold it. Yeah. A celestial body. Is that which is spiritual. Right. A terrestrial body is that which is human. That's right. I am a terrestrial body. Right. Striving so when the Lord come, uh -huh. he will turn me right. into celestial. That's right. Wonderful. Are you getting me? That's right. Wonderful. I'm a terrestrial preacher with a celestial message. Yes. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I'm a terrestrial preacher telling you about a, a celestial God. That's right. The terrestrial man died. Right. Now. That's right. Stay at it. When the terrestrial, the flesh died, flesh. those that died waiting on the promise, the spirits in prison, had to hear the message. That's right. The terrestrial placed down in the sepulchre. Nice. But now you had the celestial, Say it. the spirit yes. that came out that body. Oh, yes. Come on, Jay. Now he goes oh. to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. Oh, what did the Bible say the spirit does? For Christ also once had suffered for sins. Christ. Christ. Yes. Flesh. Yes. The flesh suffered. Yeah. Suffered for sin. For sin. The just for the unjust. That he may do it. That he might bring us to God. How? Being put to death in the flesh. The flesh had to die. But yeah. quickened by the spirit. But for this cause. By which also. Wait a minute. For, for, by which also. He went and preached. Hold it. Yes. One part is dead. Right. But the other part did what? By which also he went and preached. How can a dead preach? That's right. Come on, Jay. Dead can't preach. That's right. So the body of the Son of Man, dead, laying in the grave. Spirit come out the body. You hear the spirit coming out. That's right. While he was on the cross. That's right. While he was on the cross, the terrestrial was yelling at the celestial. At about the ninth hour. My God. My God. My God. Why hast thou forsaken me? Why have you forsaken me? Why hast thou forsaken me? The celestial comes out. And a terrestrial, dead. That's yes. right. Now the celestial, which is the spirit, uh -huh. 
go to the grave by which also he went and by preached by which also he went and preached unto the spirits he, in wait, prison he went to preach to who? unto the spirits where? in prison went to preach to the spirit of Moses yes, spirit of Daniel yes, spirit of Isaiah yes, spirit of Jeremiah yes, he couldn't go down there flesh that's right the reason why he couldn't go down there flesh in preaching because flesh could only be at one place at a time but if you go down spirit spirit is everywhere that's right that's right do you understand? That's right. So the spirit went and preached to who? Unto the spirits. Where? In prison. You talking about from the time of Adam to the time he died on the cross. It is written, death reigned from Adam to Moses, even though with them that had not sinned at the similitude of Adam's transgression, who was made of him that was to come. Now, three days. Three nights. Y'all can go here, brother. No, 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 no. Stay back here. I'm not done yet. Three days. Three nights. He lost the blood. So his natural life ended. The natural life of the Son of God ended. But that bones and flesh still was Mary's son down in the grave. It was simply not a son with natural life. That's right. But in order for him to live again, breath or life source got to come from somewhere. That's right. If blood would have came back in him, he would have lived after the natural. But he lost all the blood. Let's see how he was raised. 15 chapter 1 Corinthians. First Corinthians 15. Let's see how he went down and how he come back. 1 Corinthians 15 and verse 42. Right to the point now. So also is the resurrection of so the dead. So also is the resurrection of the dead. It is sown in corruption. Sown in corruption. It is raised in incorruption. Raised in incorruption. It is sown in dishonor. It was planted in dishonor. It is raised in glory. Buried in dishonor but raised in glory. It is sown in weakness. He went down in weakness. It is raised in power. Raised in power. It is, it is sown in natural body. What was buried? A natural body. What was buried? A natural body. Flesh and bones were still natural. That's right. Just had no more natural source. That's right. Blood. That's right. How did he come back? It has raised a spiritual body. Hold it. Now, the third day, there ain't no more blood. That's right. That's right. That's right. Flesh and bones. That's right. But how did he come back? It has raised a spiritual body. So three days and three nights. Here you got the spirit preaching to the spirits in prison. But in order for that body to come up, life had to come from somewhere. Right. So the same spirit that came out came back in. That's right. That's right. That's right. The same spirit that came in ceased that body to be natural right now it got a new title how did it go down it is sown a natural body it went down natural but how it come out it is raised a spiritual body now the spirit gets in flesh and bones that still called son Son. of god but is no longer natural it is now spiritual 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 are you getting me that's right When he had blood walking around here, when he come to a door, he do this. That's right. But now that he's spiritual, that's right. He come back and just appeared to his apostles. That's right. That's right. Still come, son of God, but without any natural life. That's right. When the spirit resurrect the body, it changed the whole flesh until we don't know him no more right. as the natural flesh and blood. Right. But the spiritual body of flesh and bones was made celestial, yes. eternal. Now it's a body that can never die. Second Corinthians chapter five and verse 16. Listen, listen, I want this to be good for you that says, we still know him flesh and blood like he was here on earth. Let's see what the Bible says. Second Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 16. Listen. Wherefore henceforth. Wherefore henceforth. Know we no man after the flesh. Oh. Right. No we no man. After the flesh. Listen, not the, lang- the language, the grammar yeah. of scripture. That's right. No we no man after the flesh. Yea, though we have known Christ after wait, the wait, flesh. Wait, wait, wait. 
How, how, how was we? How was he known? We have known Christ. Known his past. After the flesh. We have known Christ how? After the flesh. How does it stand now? Yet now henceforth. What? Know we him no more. I told you. That's right. Know we him? No more. No more. No more. So he's no longer flesh and blood. That's right. At all. At all. It ain't flesh and blood. Ain't never been to heaven. No. But the glorified body that rose flesh and bones was not natural. It was spiritual, still having all the titles and the same shape right. that he had on earth. But now he's spiritual. Who shall change our vile body? He going this, this is Philippians 3.23. Chapter 3 and verse 21. Chapter 3, 21, he's he going to change what? Who shall change our vile body? How is it going to be changed? That it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body. The glorious body still called son of God. That's right. Still, hallelujah. Still called son of David. That's right. Still called son of man. Amen. But he ain't related to nobody. Nobody. That causes no blood. That's right. Yeah. Then shall you know. Then shall you know that I am He. Jesus said that I am He. And that I do nothing. No, wait a minute. I do a little bit. Nothing. No. I do what? I do nothing of myself. No, I walked on water on my own. I do nothing of myself. I turned water into wine on my own. I do nothing of myself. No, I'm the resurrection. My flesh is the resurrection. I do nothing of myself. No, my flesh is the resurrection. I do nothing of myself. I can do anything I want. I do nothing of myself. No, I can raise Lazarus. I do nothing of myself. No, my flesh make apostles. I do nothing, nothing of myself. Right. My flesh, my flesh make a pasta. I do nothing of myself. I do a little bit. Nothing of myself. No, I created the world. I do, I do nothing of myself. But the book says in the beginning was the world, and the world was with God, and the world was God. And the world, he was in the world, and the world was made by him. That's right. That's right. That's right. right. You're getting me. That's right. He was Go in ahead, the world. Go ahead. Was by he was in the world. Go ahead. And the world was, was made, made by, by him. him. But Jesus said, I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. The world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. The world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. He was in the world. The world was made by him. I do nothing of myself. That flesh and blood didn't make no, nothing. 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 nothing of myself. Emmanuel. Flesh and blood ain't make nothing. 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 That's right. Nothing. So when a book says he was in the world, the question is, where was he? That's right. Where was he? Where was the he? That's right. Mm. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Where was he at? That's Go right. ahead. Barely was foreordained. That's right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. By him. The world was made by the he. That's right. That's right. Huh? That's right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. That's by him. Right. Huh? All right, let's get this. Let me, let me, let me reverse that. Yes, Not made by he. That's right. It was he that was in the world. That's right. That's right. But it was the him that made the world. That's right. All things were That's made it. by him. See, That's he it. was in the world. That's right. He was in him. That's right. But it was the him that made it. That's right. That's it. He was in him. That's Why? <laughs> because the him right. was a greater nature right. than he. That's right. he. That's right. Let me show you in the Old Testament, Wonderful. Isaiah 53. Wonderful. Amen. Wonderful. Go ahead. The letter. I want to work on the letter, the language. The language. Isaiah chapter 53, beginning at verse 1. What happened? Who hath believed our report? And, and to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? What is it? For he, he. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's right. That's right. He, he shall grow up. Shall grow up. Up before B. For him. 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 Go to the New Testament and read that again. Amen. He was in the world. He was in the That's it. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. He was in the world. He was in the world. He was in the world. That's right. And the world was made, was made by, by, by him. him. He was in the world. And the, and the world, world made by God. was made by, by him. That's him. Right. That's right. him was in Isaiah said, For he, he shall grow up. Shall grow up. Up before, before him, him, him. him. That's right. and the he will grow up before him as, as a tender plant, a tender plant, and as and a root, as a root out of a dry ground. Him was in his wonderful, wonderful, it's wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Here you had him was in his wonderful, him. Overshadowed the woman. That's right. That's right. Go ahead, Pop. How are you listening? Go ahead, man. Come here, Sister Jennings. Go ahead, sir. Glory to God. Come on, Sister Jennings. Come on up. Here you had him. Him. Overshadow the woman. That's right. That's right. Are you getting what I'm talking? 
<laughs> he will grow up before, before him. Him, before him overshadows Mary right. and created the holy thing, and the holy thing was the he that got there from him. That's right. And then when she burst, he. Mm. That's right. Him was in he. That's right. That's right. That's it. That's it, Pops. He that came out the womb couldn't do nothing on his own because he needed him. That's right. That's it. Go ahead, brother. You understand? Go ahead. That's it, Pops. He needed him. Wonderful teacher. Wonderful teacher. For he shall grow up. When he dies. Yeah. Him, came out. him came out. come out. Yes, sir. Go to the lower parts of the earth. That's right. That's right. That's right. Then he that had no life laid it with flesh and bones. That's, That's right. right. Amen. After 72 hours was over, him got back that, got back in it. That also was called he. And he took the flesh and bones back on. And the moment he took it back on, now it has a different function. He glorifies it. Glorify it. And take he and make it equal to him. him. Now he functioned equal to him. Now he can appear. Now he can appear and disappear like him. That's right. Amen. Go ahead. Are you getting me? Go ahead, man. <laughs> Go ahead. Hallelujah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. In that he lived, how does he live now? Paul said, in that he liveth, he liveth by the power of God. Hmm? Now, let me show you another scripture where you preachers made a mistake. First epistle of John 3.16 and then St. John 316. That's right. Everybody all right? First yeah. John 3 and verse 16. Give chapter and verse. First John chapter 3 and verse 16. First epistle of John chapter 3 and verse 16. Hereby perceive we the love of God. Hold it. Hereby perceive we understand we the love of God. God love. Because he because he laid down his and life. And the subject is God. Would you God. not agree? That's right. God laid down his life for us. God laid down his life. His Preachers, life. especially you apostolic fellas, you say that scripture means God died. Right. No, it don't. No. John 4, 24. He John, says God laid down his life. Well, let's life. first find out the nature of God. John 4 and verse 24. Says what? God is a spirit. You can't kill spirit. That's right. So now notice the language of the scriptures. God laid down his, his, his. look at that one word, H-I-S, his, his, his means ownership. That's right. So now you got to find out what life did God lay down. That's right. St. John 3.16. St. John 3.16. Says what? For God so loved the world. So God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. He gave son. what? His only begotten Wait a son. He gave what? His only What's that word? His. Go back there. Go first epistle of John. That's right. Three, first epistle of John. That's right. First epistle of John. God laid down his life. First epistle of John 3.16. St. John 3.16. Look how the word his is connected. Look. First John 3.16. 3, 3, Listen. Because he laid down his life for us. Now, if God is spirit, you can't kill God. Right. So if it says his life, that means ownership. That's right. So now you got to find out what life did God own that he can lay down. In St. John chapter 3 and verse 16. That's what? He gave his only begotten Read son. Read the whole verse. For God, so, for God so loved the world. So God so loved the world. That he. That he. He gave his. He is God. That's right. That he. Wait, what? He gave his. He gave his. Only begotten son. That's his life. That's, that's his life. Ahead, his only begotten son That's was right. his life. That's right. His life means his son because he owned it. That's right. Huh? Go ahead, brother. You see, it's just like we got fathers. Our life is our fathers. That's right. You know why? He can tell you what to do. That's right. He can tell you how to live. That's right. 
When he said lay down his life, his life, you can't kill spirit. No. For the nature of God is spirit. That's right. So the nature that God took on. Right. Second chapter of the book of Philippians. Amen. Huh? Amen. Lord, take God. I don't want to leave you, but I'm on my way. <laughs> That's right. Second chapter of the book of Philippians, son. Mm -hmm. You better begin about verse 7. Let's get the apostle Paul went down to Philippi. Amen. Come on, son. The Bible said, let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. A man who was made in the form, form of God. In Philippians chapter 2 and at verse, we'll, Listen. we'll begin at verse 6. All right. Who being in the form of God. Hold it. Who being in what? In the form of God. God form was God image. That's right. God image was God shape. That's right. And God shape was God fashion. Amen. And God fashion was God figure. That's and right. God figure was the similitude of Adam. That's right. And Adam was made in the figure of him that was to come. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, brother. Don't you hear God said, Go let us make man in mm -hmm. our image. In our image. After our likeness. That's, after our likeness. That's right. And what did he say there? Who being in the form of God. Why you think Jesus was called the second Adam? That's right. Because he had the same shape as the first Adam. That's right. And Adam was made in the figure of him that, that was, was to come. come. That's right. And the one that was to come was the son of man That's it. who was called the second Adam. That's right. Go ahead, brother. Go and say, well, wait a minute, Pastor Jenny. The Bible said the second Adam is that Lord from heaven. That's right. right. That's true. The second Adam is that Lord from heaven. And so it is well, written. Well, you just say God is not a man. He's not. Right. He's not a man. Mm -hmm. But he holds the title man. That's Moses right. called him a man of war. Man of war. Huh? That's right. Notice, God never described himself after the female gender. He always described himself after the male gender. That's, right. That's why he said, I am he. That's right. I am am he that's right and then he was called him, him. that's right huh? that's right he said he shall grow up before him, him. that's right oh it's a god do you get what i'm telling you in first corinthians 15 and verse never 45. at no time Go ahead, brother. was god described as a female gender at no time the, listen the lord listen now in the book of exodus chapter 15 and verse 3 what is it? the lord the lord is a man of war but Balaam said, God is not a man. That's right. But the prophet Moses said, the Lord is a man of war. That's a title. Yeah. In other words, look at man action in war. God is a man of war mean God is a conqueror. That's right. Not only that, he's a counselor. That's right. Someone said, well, how are you going to get counsel out of a man of war? For God said, war is established by counsel. By counsel. When did God counsel? He worketh all things after the counsel of, of his, his own, own will. will. That's right. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm telling you? Ahead, he worketh bro. all things after the counsel of his own will. will. He advised himself. That's right. That's right. He said, to whom do I seek counsel? That's right. You hear him talking to himself. Let us make man. Let us. Can't no angels create nothing. No. There's only one creator. That's right. All right, let us make man yes. after our image. That's right. After our likeness. Right. Well, who done it? So God made That's man. Right. So God. In his own image. That's right. That's counseling with himself. That's right. He worketh all things. After the after counsel. The counsel. Of his own will. Who hath directed the it's spirit no of the Lord? It's no better counsel than himself. That's right. Huh? That's right. Look at what the word of God says. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 13. What? Who hath directed the spirit of the Lord? Who directed the spirit of the Lord? Or being his counsel. Or who was his counsel? Hath taught him. Hath taught him. With whom took he counsel? Who did he take counsel and, with? And who instructed him? Who instructs him? And taught him. And taught him. In the path of judgment. Now, the mm -hmm. son of God can't say that. No. no. <laughs> That's right. Son of God couldn't say that. But as my father. Listen, listen, listen. In listen, St. John listen, chapter 8. I want to show you the separation between the human and divine, the mortal and the immortal, the visible and the invisible, the man and God. That's right. That's right. One had no boundaries, the other did. That's true. The one that didn't have no boundaries taught the one. That's right. There were two natures mm -hmm. the nature of flesh. And the nature of spirit. That's right. Listen. In St. John 8 and verse 28. What is it? And that I do nothing of myself. Look at the son of man talk. Mm -hmm. I don't do nothing on my own. But as my father but has my taught father me. have taught me. I speak these things. As my father have taught have me. Have taught me. 
as my father had taught me. That's right. Listen, viewers, listen to what I'm about to tell you, and I hope you pick it in the streets. <laughs> Jesus had a teacher. Yes, he did. And God was his teacher. That's right. What you mean? The teacher of the flesh was the spirit that was in it. That's right. Because the flesh was lower and lesser than God. That's right. It is written. He was made a little lower than the angels. That's right. And if you're made lower than the angels and the angels are subject to God, then your nature as flesh is lesser than it's God. Lesser. That's right. That's right. God don't sleep. No. Jesus did. That's right. God ain't got to eat. Jesus did. That's right. God don't grow. Yes. Jesus did. That's right. God never was 12. Yeah. Jesus was. That's right. God didn't start his ministry. He always had one. That's right. But Jesus did. Amen. There was a separation, the separation. between the human and the, divine. and the divine. That's why he manifests himself in the flesh. In the flesh. So man cannot think. That he is equal to the most high. That's right. He demonstrated the will of submission. That's right. Huh? What do the word spiritual mean? Spiritual. Good and that's the hang up. Amen. That's right. Jesus did not rise spirit. No, spiritual. Because the book plainly says they were afraid because they thought, thought they, had seen they a saw a spirit. They thought they seen a spirit. Preachers have said for years he rose spirit. No, he did not. No. Spirit and spiritual are different. But they were terrified and a frightened. Listen. In the book of St. Luke, chapter 24 and verse 37. Come on. But they were terrified and a frightened. Why? And supposed that they had seen a spirit. So he convinced them and said what? And he said unto them, why are you troubled? Why are you troubled? And why do thoughts arise in your heart? What is it? Behold my hands. Look, oh, wait a minute. See, so you can't pierce spirit. That's right. My hands. And my feet. And my feet. That it is I myself. And the question is, what kind of body was it? That's right. Handle me and see. That what? For a spirit. A spirit. Hath not flesh and bones. As what? As ye see me has. Spiritual is a body that function equal to spirit. That's right. Why? Because the body took on the glory of the spirit. That's, That's why the spirit glorified it with its own, own self. self. What is it about self it received? The full glory or the full function of self. He can appear and disappear. Spiritual is greater than natural. Because here you have a body living off spirit. Right. And still can perform like natural. That's right. <laughs> huh? That's right. You had a body that lived off spirit. Yeah. And still can function like natural. And they gave him a piece of broiled fish. You and don't listen. You don't cook for spirit. No, you don't. Spirit ain't on no diet. That's right. The flesh and blood mm. that rose is glorified. glorified. And by it being glorified, mm -hmm. it eliminated being a relative right. to the human race. That's right. Mary is not the mother of a body, a body. that changed no. from natural to spiritual. That's right. Because not only was the inside affected, the outside right. was affected. That's right. And Mary did not birth spiritual. Right. Mary birthed natural. Paul Plenty said that's not the body that shall that be. That shall be. That's right. So when we say no right. son of God went to the grave, we're talking about the natural life that was blood. Right. But the body that was placed in the grave still had the title son. son. Still had the shape son. That's still right. had the form son. That's still right. had the identity son. son. That's right. That's why he told me. Mm -hmm. Tell my disciples That's right. that I have ascended. But I have not ascended. Not ascended. Tell them, tell them I have ascended to my father, but uh, I have not ascended. That's right. Jesus said, not to her, touch me now. In tell them I ascend to mine. 
My father. For I am not yet in Saint, give chapter and verse. in Saint John chapter 20 and we're listen at, at this. And we're at verse 17. What is it? Jesus saith unto her, What? Touch me not. Don't touch me. For I am not yet ascended to my father. I have not yet ascended to my father. But go to my brother. But you tell my brothers. And say unto them, What? I ascend unto my father. All right, wait a minute, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, wait a minute now. Wait a minute. Are you confused? <laughs> Amen. Huh? Sound ahead. confusing, don't it? Yeah. Listen. Jesus saith unto her, touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my father. Here's, he says, I didn't ascend to my father. But go to my brethren and go say tell my brothers, unto them, I ascend unto my father. You tell them something else. <laughs> That's right. Huh? Go ahead. What you mean when you go to my brothers and tell them I ascend, mm -hmm. you tell them I'm back from the grave. That's it. The reason why I did not yet ascend to my father, I did not yet go up into the clouds and ascend above all heavens because I still got some work to do in a glorified state. You see, a glorified state representing a higher level of knowledge. You know why? Because while he was here, they didn't understand. But after he rose, then open he, they understand. Huh? Glory to the Father. Go ahead. Are you getting me? Go ahead. After he rose, then. And, and he said unto them. Look, glory, glory, glory. In the, you book, hear this? In, in the book of Luke 24 and verse 44. Come on, son. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you. While I was yet that all you. things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the psalm concerning me, then what? Then open he their understanding. Then open he what? Then open he their understanding. What was the reason? That they might understand the scriptures. The resurrected body represent a higher level of knowledge. That's right. Huh? That's right. Thank God, don't you hear? Before he died, who do men say that I am? Some say thou art Elias or one of the other prophets. Who do you say that I am? Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. He said, flesh and blood have, have not, not revealed, revealed it to you. you. Which means the Son of God didn't give you that. That's right. The Son of God didn't give you that. That's but right. who gave it to you, Peter? My Father my or father. the Spirit, which is in heaven. That's right. Hmm? The, listen, the, flesh, the Son of God on his own wasn't even a giver of revelation. Amen. Holy Ghost gave the revelation. He plainly told Peter, Flesh and blood didn't reveal it. That's right. Jesus was flesh and blood. But he told Peter, flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Mm. Well, well, Jesus, who are you going to credit? My Father. My Father. Which is in heaven. Which is in heaven. Everything go back to the Spirit. That's right. He's teaching us. They don't need to credit your flesh. You need the Spirit. Go ahead, man. Huh? Go ahead. He's teaching. That's why he manifests himself in the flesh and kept referring to the Spirit. The Spirit this, the Spirit that, the Spirit the other. Why are you doing that, Jesus? I want to leave man an example that they should follow my steps. That's Just right. like I cater to the Spirit and tell them without the Spirit you can't do nothing. That's you got to do the same thing. Same thing. That's what my church, that's why I manifest myself in the flesh so my flesh represents a body. Go ahead. And that body that will come after me is the body of the Christ. Which is the church. That's right. And now I want the church. Go after the spirit. Go ahead. Cater to the spirit. Go ahead. Lean to the spirit. That's right. When you look at the flesh, it is written you killed all the, all the day, day long. long. That's right. Don't you hear the apostle Paul taught us? Go ahead. We are crucified with him. That's right. Wait a minute. How are you crucified with him? Ain't no cross around here. Ain't no cross around here. So please tell me, how are you now crucified with him? Huh? When his hands was nailed, feet nailed, pushed him in his side, and put the crown of thorns in your head. If you put thorns on anyone's skin, they're going to puncture. That's right. You're going to have loss of blood. So for you to be crucified with him, these thorns got to be placed on your head. You know why? Mm -hmm. The colonel mind need to be released. That's right. Huh? That's right. It takes something strong like this. To release it. Thank God your nail, your hands got to be nailed to eliminate the freedom of sin. Your feet got to be nailed because your feet is quick to run into mischief. That's right. Yeah. That's right.